Well, according to the Mental Health Foundation, 74% of people feel overwhelmed by their daily lives. So between balancing work and balancing family and the kids' activities and all the other stuff we do, things pile up. Yep, so we better check in with our motivational speaker, author Rich Bracken, friend of the show, to share some ideas on uh, well, how to declutter our lives, make it happier, less stressful. And do we have to have the smock or the apron on, do you think, uh, Rich? <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't hurt. It depends on how messy your life really is. I mean, if you got to get into those deep corners, I highly recommend gloves, swiffers, aprons, the whole nine yards. Okay. Whatever you got to do, Nick. How do, how, Rich, how do our lives get this way? I mean, how do they get so cluttered, you know? Yeah, our lives are a lot like our houses. When we think about how we need to clean our house and update things and really take care of our house, it's the same thing as our lives. We tend to get into this, this, this put it over to the side. We ignore those things that we need to deal with. Mm -hmm. Maybe we shut the door of that room. It's the same thing in our life. We ignore the things that are bothering us, especially the small things, and those things add up. They pile up. It's, if, you, if you ignore them long enough, they become big, big problems. So it really is important that you treat your house like you treat your life, and it's making sure that you're taking care of the little things on a day-to-day -day basis so they don't pile up. And how does that impact our health when we don't take care of those things on a day-to-day -day basis? It really has an impact on our mentality. It has an impact on our relationships. It has an impact on our energy, too. If you think about the things that you're ignoring in your life, the things that are draining you in the back of your mind, that is subconsciously taking energy away from you. It is putting a little bit of negative poison in your life every single day. So if you think about the little things that have been annoying you, things you're not paying attention to, maybe there are people in your life that you need to clean out, that is really important that you pay attention to those because we forget, because we get so busy on a day-to-day -day basis, we forget to take care of those little bit of cleaning every mm -hmm. single day in our life. So making sure that you're paying attention to what makes you happy and what makes you not happy and paying attention to the things that make you not happy, making sure that you're putting a plan into place to get rid of them. But again, it is really important that you focus on the little things on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, once we recognize that we do need to start making or maybe taking action, uh, what can we do to tidy up the, our lives? Rich, what do you think? Sure, there are tons of little things that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis, and it, maybe it's your inbox. My inbox has been a problem all my entire life, but if I take a little bit of time at the end of my day to clean up my inbox, or I am a bookmark, you know, web page hoarder, so if I clean out those, they're not weighing on my mind. Yesterday, I cleaned out my bookshelves because there were lots of books on there that I knew that I was going to never read, but in looking at them, I felt subconsciously guilty that I didn't have the time to get to them. So again, it's the little things that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis versus having to block a ton of time and do all of this cleaning. Take five, 10, 15 minutes at the end of your day or the beginning of your day to, to put forth effort onto those little things in your life to take care of them before you have to spend three, four hours. But the little things are like Windex. They clean things really quickly and it takes care of everything in your life. Okay, I saw the six month rule on your list. What is that? Sure. The six month rule is, you know, it used to be a year when we think about the things that we don't deal with in a year. But since we've been home so much in the last couple of years, that is shortened down to six months. So if there are people that have been negatively impacting you or people that don't make you feel good and maybe their relationship has not contributed to yours in the last six months, it's time to get rid of them. If there are things that you've been putting off, goals that you've been putting off, you either need to do something about them or get rid of them. If you haven't made action in the last six months, you're either deprioritizing that option or you've been putting it off due to any kind of a fear or nervousness. So make sure that you're taking care of those things that haven't served you in those last six months, and that will make you feel better immediately. Rich Bracken, always great advice. Where can people find you? They can find me on richbracken.com, all of my social media handles, and all the information you need to know about me is on richbracken.com. And I also want to wish my mom a very happy birthday today. She'd be very proud to see me dressed like this. <laughs> now i got to go clean my house. So <laughs> i got to put my, my money where my mouth is. And happy birthday, Mrs. Bracken. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, guys.